Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, you guys. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are doing good today. It is officially the end of the month. I cannot believe how fast this month has gone. So today I want to come on here and talk about a story that's been going viral the past 24 hours on social media, and it has to do with King Harris, who is T.I. and Tiny's son. And what happened is that basically yesterday, a video, now I'm hearing that the video was taken a few weeks ago, but for some reason it went viral yesterday. And so in this video, um, King, he gets really upset. He's at a Waffle House. I think he ordered a burger or something like that. And on his meal, there were pickles. And obviously, he's not a fan of pickles. He started going off. Like, he was kind of ranting on Instagram Live to his followers and telling them what happened. But he was kind of being loud, kind of disrespectful. And so the, the cook who had made the food, you know, is basically telling him, if you want to talk like that, you need to go outside. And at that point, he responded with, you know, I can talk how the fuck I want to. Um, I'm live right now. And he just starts snapping. It was kind of crazy. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this viral video. Go ahead and check this out. So what I'm saying is, they was can talk like that outside. Hey, I can talk how the fuck I want to where I, wherever I'm at. I'm on live, Shawty. Stop talking to me. Stop talking to me. This ain't your fucking restaurant. This ain't your fucking restaurant. Everything you make, I can pull out my pocket right now. I ain't tripping on you. I ain't tripping. Get the hell out of my face. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Who the hell is he? What's your name? What's your name? My name King. You know it and your mama know. Tell your mama happy Mother's Day. Tell your mama happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Fire show shit. Come back. Come back. What? On game what? On game what? Come here. Come here. I'll show you what I do. Come here. I'll show you what I do. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. We out here. We out here. I'm outside. I'm outside. Come on. Shake some. Come on, shake some. Come on, shake some. Hey, get your employees. Get your employees. Yeah, shock something in this. Tell your mama happy mother. And you still talking inside, though. You still talking inside, though. Why you inside? You can't stop me from doing shit. I'm doing shit. Let me get my food. Thank you. I'm just talking about like they like that. They ain't like that. Before I get back here and piss with them. Fuck. Wait till I get back and see them out here late night. Wait till I slap them. All right. Yeah. Yeah, wait. Wait till I come back in the market late night. And then it's just you and I slap you up. Yeah. You trying to act all tough. All oh, like this in front of all your people. Tell your mama I said happy Mother's Day. And then can in my face and shit, like what? Why I slap her with this money? Hey, cuz. Hey, cuz. I don't know who the f um, slapped out his fucking mouth. I swear to God, I was like, this argument with you the whole time. All right, so you guys just saw that viral video. You know, it's kind of really sad to watch. You know, he pulled out a stack of money, said he makes more money than these people's yearly wage. He also threatened a pistol with one of the employees. So I thought, you know, it was really unfortunate watching that. But I didn't want to post this yesterday because, one, I knew he had graduated. And I knew that this was going to be the main story. And if you look on our blog, we didn't post this story at all. It was viral all over social media. I chose not to post it because I wanted to hear what his parents would say about the situation. Because at the end of the day, he's a minor and he's somebody's kid. So I wanted to wait to see what T.I. or Tiny would have to say about the situation. So in the meantime, I told Madia, you know, um, he's graduating today. When we get the graduation pictures, go ahead and post them. You know, let's post something positive with this young man, being that everybody's dragging him right now on the Internet. 
So if you go on my page, you know, we posted his graduation pictures and that was it. Now, about an hour ago, T.I. has now addressed the situation. So, so now we will post a full story on our blog and Madia is working on that right now. But, um, you know, during his rant and rave, that was one of the things he was talking about, that he was upset that the blogs are so focused on King's behavior and him getting into it, you know what I'm saying, with a short order cook, as opposed to promoting him graduating. And see, that's the problem I have because not every blog is like that. Because like I said, we didn't post anything about this story with him cussing folks out and, you know, kind of wilding out. We focused on his graduation. But see, the problem is a lot of you celebs only go to places like the Shade Room. You know what I'm saying? Y'all only go to the bigger platforms. But the smaller platforms who do try and post more positive stuff and show other angles of situations, y'all don't go to those platforms. So you can't compare everybody else to the Shade Room and to, you know, Neighborhood Talk and whoever else posted it because we didn't post this story until we heard what T.I., the parent, had to say to his son. So now I'm going to go ahead and play you guys T.I.'s response to King's behavior. I want you guys to check this out. Um, I understand that at one time, what was once considered, I mean, people kind of expected more than appreciated. I get that. And for me, I pretty much take it at par for the course. Um, but you know, man... And I know this social media shit, this, this next generation shit, this shit weird. I, I mean, I think it's weird. I can't call it weird. It's they norm. I ain't, you know what I mean? Shit, this shit weird to me. Um, But I, it's confusing, right? It's confusing because, you know, I got a son, 17 years old, graduated with honors, AB honor roll, you know, um, and, you know, a few people picked it up, a few people talked about it, a few people talked about it, a few people, you know, congratulated us, and I appreciate that, I really do, I value that, no matter how major or minute, I appreciate any consideration and appreciation given to my family any celebratory comments appreciate all of it right but it seems as though the news of that was halted because it was in competition with some kind of minor ass remedial petty squirmish that happened at fucking Waffle House now hey listen Bro, anybody in here who's my age or even close to my age, you done been young before. You know, you know what I mean? Come on, bro. You know how that's going to go. You know it's going to be a lot more times where you do the wrong thing before you learn exactly how to do the right thing. Everybody already know that. You know what I mean? I'm not expecting my children not to fuck. I am expecting them not to do it on camera as much, but, you know, that's just the world we living in right now, you dig? So I got to wrap my mind around that. I have to make those necessary adjustments as a parent. Um, and you know what I'm saying, man? I spoke, I mean, of course I spoke to my son. You know, me and his uncles, you know, it was, per we were perplexed by his necessity to go back and forth with the short order cook. I didn't understand why he felt he needed to stop what he was doing to engage someone who was at such another level of life. You did. I didn't understand that. And I had to explain to him that, you know, when people are not living the way they hope they would live, and here you is walking in with so much freedom and, and, and luxury, and you, and you know, people gonna posture themselves a certain way. So, therefore, you gonna have to enjoy, you gonna have to enjoy your life. You gonna have to remove yourself from that energy and go enjoy your life. Because they not happy with themselves. No way they could be happy with you. You dig? Of 
course I understand it. He don't understand it yet. He still got a lot of testosterone he working through. But the point is, regardless of that situation, that situation, man, man, that shit is, is very remedial when it comes to the real meat and potatoes <laughs> of the discussion. Okay? Why in the hell is it more newsworthy to report that this man got into an argument with a fucking short order cook? And less important to speak about the fact that he graduated with honors on the A and B honor roll at 17. Not even 18 yet. Why is this? I don't understand what world we're living in. Well, this is what we rather promote. Because whether you know it or not, you not only are you promoting it, you're not just kind of like putting it out there for my son and like, you know, showing, showing his failures or showing his shortcomings. You're also promoting it to your children and other people's children. Why wouldn't you want to say, hey, look, this is the guy who you saw from or you know from this person or that you know from these things and look at what he has been able to do even though we saw him in this light and now here he is in this light why would you not want that for your nephews for your little brothers for your little cousins for your sons for your daughters like why would you not want that for the rest of society to to exemplify what could happen if you put your mind to your education no matter what your extracurricular activities or what your you know your pastimes are bro why wouldn't you want that to be an example now and i i mean i mean i think i, I know everybody out there man i know everybody got the answers i know all y'all got the answers i know everybody out here got the answers, especially if you motherfuckers with no children. I know all of you got the answers. I know everybody who ain't never did shit can show everybody. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Most of you, you know what I'm saying? And rather, instead of getting up off your ass and getting out there and actually going to do something and taking a chance of actually becoming a failure even more, you would rather sit there and become the failure that you already are and not have to hold yourself accountable. I get that. But let me just offer you a little perspective. We gonna be all right. all right we always gonna be all right because i'm here and if nothing else we gonna have an example we gonna have options okay so i'm just speaking to you grown people I'm speaking to you grown people because it's grown for what it was a grown person behind that damn counter inviting my son outside to fight man hey man it happens okay cool and I'm glad that it ended the way it did, you know what I'm saying? Because I just want to remind that there are, you know, adults in his family, cousins, uncles, a father, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, that it wouldn't have stopped there. So I'm glad that it ended where it did. I'm glad that it did. But at the same time, I also explained to him, you get out there and you get yourself in grown man business and something to go away that you didn't want it to go. Man, shit, you you gon you gon you gon learn what real adversity is. But that's something that you have to learn with growth. The evolution of a man is constant. Alright? I just wanna know why in the hell. I just wanna know why in the hell is it more newsworthy or noteworthy to report that than report the fact that the man graduated. With arms. That's all. That's it. Now. Now. And short order cooks are. I'm not saying the short order cooks aren't important. I'm not saying that. But. Ain't no re Ain't nothing for me to. Ain't nothing for me to be arguing with a short order cook. About but an order. And after the order. I'm gone. Ain't nothing else to be arguing about. Ain't nothing there for us to be going back and forth about. They have a job to do. And I have a life to live. And ain't nothing else to be going back and forth about. 
They could be a cashier at a register. Ain't nothing else for us to be going back and forth about. Nothing. There's nothing for us to be going back and forth about. They trying to work themselves to a place, and I, I support that. But ain't no way for me to engage too much with them. Ain't no way for me to do that. Ain't no way for me to do that. Now, I'm going to celebrate my son for his for, for, for the things he do right. And I'm going to correct him when he does wrong. But I'm talking about you adults. I'm talking about you adults. As a parent, that's my job. I'm committed to it. Ain't no way for me to... I can't clock out of it. But for, 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 you, for you adults, what the hell is you... Why is it so engaging for you? Why are you so enthralled by this? Why? There's something wrong with you. There's some shit up with you. You know what I mean? Children gonna be children. Kids will be kids, man. You know what I'm saying? I expect that from them. I expect that from them. I expect them to fuck up. I expect them to do the wrong thing from time to time. I expect that. As I did, as you've done. But what about y'all, though, bro? Like, why y'all doing that? Ask yourself. What the fuck is so bad about your life? That caused you to do that? All right? Well, that's the only piece of perspective I have for the day, man. That's all I have to say. I just wanted an A, man. If you feel like, if y'all y'all put me up on game, if that's, you know, the world just ain't shit and I shouldn't, you know what I mean? Cool, cool. But get what? If the world ain't shit, it'll never be shit if I don't point it out. First step to solving the problem is realizing that there is a problem. So, as long as we continue to report the bad, we're going to continue to get the bad. I let y'all go ahead and enjoy y'all day, man. I hope y'all weekend is phenomenal as you deserve. And shit, I'm going to continue to live my rich ass life. Goodbye. All right, so you guys just heard what Tip had to say about the situation. You know, and he said he was shocked, you know, by his son's behavior. But again, I felt like it was a lot of deflecting and it was more blaming of the people at the restaurant. And I think the fact that if he's upset with his order, that's fine. We've all, you know, ordered food and it might have been wrong. But it's also a way that you talk to people. We need to understand that we are living in difficult times. Mistakes happen. And these people are here, you know, working a nine to five job to try and take care of their families. So, you know, just being kind, like a kind word and just saying, hey, you know, this this order is wrong. Can you please fix this? That goes a long way rather than, you know, disrespecting them, cussing at them, you know, threatening to pistol whip them. I thought that was a bit much, but I understand he's a teenager and as, and I have a teenager. You know what I'm saying? I got a 16 year old. Um, So it's like as parents, we can't be everywhere our kids are at. You know, all we can do as parents is hope that we instilled in them values. You know what I'm saying? We instilled in them morals and that they know how to treat other people. Because at the end of the day, King is highly blessed and highly favored. You know, he's grown up wealthy. He's grown up in a, in a good life. He's had both his mother and father in his life. They're both successful in their own right. So he hasn't had the same struggles that a lot of people have had. So he needs to understand that because if he keeps having these tantrums and going off, it's going to leave a bad taste in people's mouth, especially when dealing with him. Because this isn't the first time. A year ago, he had got into it um, at the playground. I forgot. I don't know if it was a basketball game. But, you know, even then he was going off. He was threatening to pull something out of his backpack. This went viral all over the shade room and all over social media as well. This went viral all over the Internet as well. We didn't post it, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this video from just a year ago. What's up with you, bro? Let's go. Put your head around me, talking out your ass like you want to do something. What's up, bro? No, oh, Lord. What's up, bro? Nothing. What? Get the fuck nothing. Back. Wow. Relax or what? Nothing. Or what? Or what? Nothing. Or what? Nothing. Because you just nothing. Oh, what? 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 O
So I think because he had the altercation a year ago and now the Waffle House uh, situation, I think that is why it's going viral and why most blogs are talking about that than they are him graduating. And seeing that's the problem is that, you know, when young people or anybody engage in more negative or low vibrational behavior, the blogs are going to eat that up. You know, people love negativity. People love drama. That's what's going to go viral. Good news, making the A and B honor roll, graduating high school. You know, you might see a blip on the radar, but that's not necessarily going to go as viral as him going off on a Waffle House employee. So I think, you know, he needs to realize that, that you are being watched. You know, you are the son of T.I. and Tiny. People are going to watch your every moves. They're going to record you. They're going to post it on the gram. They're going to send it to the blogs. So he has to watch the moves that he makes. And I think the girls, um, Zanique and Deja, they've done a pretty good job of kind of trying to navigate social media. I mean, I've seen people jump on like Zanique's Instagram live and say crazy things to her about her parents. And she's handled it well. You know, she knows how to kind of defuse the situation and change the subject. So I think, you know, with King, it's a little bit different because he's a boy. You know, boys, they have the testosterone. They be ready to fight. But I think Tip really needs to talk to him. He needs to talk to him, let him know, like, you know, that type of behavior. You just can't do it. Like, I understand we're human, he's young, but you, you can't threaten people. You can't, you know, say that you make more than they make in a year. It's just, it's going to leave a bad taste in people's mouths. And especially when you're talking about pistol whipping somebody, you don't know who that employee is tied to. You don't know if they're gang affiliate. You just don't know. And you don't want to say the wrong thing to tick somebody off. So I just think conversations need to be had. But I do agree with the one part when he said that, you know, it's very interesting that this is what goes viral, but when it's something positive, it doesn't go as viral. And I've always said that, you know, positivity and, you know, good grades and the kids who are doing the right thing, that never goes viral. It might get a small write-up and that's about it. But let it be a child, you know, Miss Cash Me Outside, how about that? She was able to turn into a millionaire. So that that's the crazy part. But I just think that King needs to understand his privilege and he needs to have a bit more grace, okay, for people in the restaurant business. It's not easy. They're dealing with many employees. Like I said before, mistakes happen. And you can't just flip out on people like that. The same way he wouldn't want somebody cussing at him and talking to him crazy for whatever reason, whatever you put out there, you get back. So if you don't want people disrespecting you, young man, you can't do the same to other people. That's not right. Because at the end of the day, they're just there to work. And right now, it's very short-staffed all around the country. So a lot of these restaurants, they're only running at like half capacity. So, you know, where maybe two years ago they were fully staffed and it wasn't so much work on just one person, some of these people are having to wear multiple hats. So when mistakes happen, we need to learn to give people grace, you know, to fix the mistake, get you a new burger, you know, allow them to apologize. But, you know, being disrespectful and cussing them out, you can't do that. But I understand teenagers make mistakes and they're still growing. You know, I was a teenager, you know, once upon a time. So, you know, we all make mistakes. You know, teenagers, you know, their attitudes can be very, very flippant. But I think, you know, he just needs to really talk to his son. I think him kind of brushing it off and saying, I don't know why he was arguing with a short order cook anyways. No, that's I don't care if it was a short order cook. I don't care if it was a fry cook at Bojangles. I don't care if it was a vegan cook. You know, it's just the way that you talk to people. And when people make mistakes, like I said, you have to give them some type of grace to, you know, make up for the error of their ways. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know what you guys think about this situation. Like, like I said, it's currently viral all over social media. People are definitely weighing in on this. But let me know your thoughts. How do you guys feel about King's behavior at the Waffle House? How do you guys feel about him graduating with honors? And then last but not least, how do you guys feel about T.I.'s response to all the drama? So let me know your thoughts. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to share the video. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Once again, thank you all for y'all's support. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.